Hey guys, I recently completed a really fun build in our entryway and I used IKEA Brimis closets as the basis for this project. Let me show you how I did it. I'm Melissa from Welcome to the Woods. So if you have been following my page, you know we've undergone a full-scale home renovation over the last year and this new door that you see in this shot is the new entryway to our home. You can see that I am building the IKEA Brimis closets. I just followed the instructions that came with the packaging. Assemble it yourself furniture is pretty simple, um, but it just takes some time and some patience. So the thing is, is this entryway didn't have any coat closets and no storage because initially it was just like a bonus living room space in our home. In order to make this room function for Minnesota winters, I needed to install two of these big closets as well as a bench under the window. This design I came up with because it was the most cost effective way to utilize the entire wall space. So here you can see that I built the smallest of the two uh, closets. It just has the two doors and I'm going to be pushing each of these up on either side of the window. I also built a second one that has the three doors with a mirror in the middle. I did a lot of digging to find the piece that was going to work for the bench underneath the window on my storage wall. And I came up with this. This is a old dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. I'm going to revamp it to make it match and look more modern. So I took off the handles of each of the drawers and I'm covering it with a peel and stick laminate that I got on Amazon. You can find this product linked in the description of this video. The reason that I use laminate instead of painting it is that it had this super high gloss like veneer on the drawers and so I thought it might get scratched up with the heavy use of this drawer system if I tried to prime and paint it. So. I thought this was a more durable choice. To get that laminated paper to really stick, you gotta use a blow dryer. Once the drawers were done, I just moved the box into, into the place and I basically kind of figured out where I needed to be in order to anchor the closets to the wall and make this all go together. Then I measured out more of that laminate um, peel and stick stuff to put onto the sides and I know that the white from the IKEA closets doesn't perfectly match the white on the bench from this paper that I bought but it looks a lot better than it did. It doesn't really bother me. So these are how the drawers looked when I was done. I still need to come in and update the handles. So what I did was I just took them outside and I sprayed them with flat black spray paint. Now I'm spray painting in under 30 degree weather so um, if you want to have a little tutorial on how to spray paint in the winter click on the link in the description of this video. When they were dry I just replaced them back on the drawers and this bench is looking way more updated. I also um, shimmed up the bottom of these dressers because now that I had the bench in place I knew where the closets were going to get anchored into the wall and of course my floor wasn't completely you know perpendicular to the wall so I had to shim up that and then I had to anchor up on top. I'm going to be finding the wall studs for anchoring this piece of furniture with this new magnetic stud finder that I bought off Amazon. I love this thing. You just move it across the wall and it actually magnetizes to the screws that are hanging the drywall so there's no guesswork on where the stud is. It is accurate 100% of the time. I love it. Okay, so then I'm just drilling, you know, getting those screws and those L brackets in place so that our closets are totally secure and a lot stronger. This definitely made the closets much, much stronger. You might have noticed earlier that my dresser converted to a bench didn't come with a top. I'm not really sure why, but I set to work making one. So I just measured what I needed and I picked up one of the handy panels of one half inch thick birch plywood. Now because the dresser is supported on all four sides, I figured that it would be strong enough to just use half inch thick. The dresser's kind of tall for a bench, so I didn't really want to go, um, you know, thicker than that. 
I put down frog tape to protect the plywood from splintering as I run across it with my saw. So here you can see that I'm just hoisting it up on these broken pieces of pallet and then running my circular saw along the cut so that it's exactly the right size. Fortunately, I didn't have to cut the length, only the width on this handy panel. Then I'm gonna stain it. I'm using a, uh, I think it's like a semi-gloss black stain. It goes on pretty much brown, but then once the second coat goes, it looks so much better, a lot more black. The handy panel is just going to get glued down with my favorite Gorilla Glue once it's dry. So I'm just gonna run that along the edges and then clamp that into place to dry overnight. I think that's gonna be strong enough. So far, it's held up great. So because the edge of the plywood is showing the stripes, you know, showing you that it's plywood when you stain it, I just came in and painted it black. Then I'm going to install uh, using these pole sockets. They're so cheap, plastic, you know, got them on Amazon. Um, onto the edge of one of the closets in the open space between the Brimis closet and the wall. These are going to hold this PVC pipe that allows us to have an open closet rod area where people can just hang up their coats if they're coming to visit and have it totally visible. Now I'm pretty much done. It's time to fill them up. So I have so many things that, you know, for my three kids, my husband and I, we just need in Minnesota we have seven layers of clothing on when it's freezing cold out so I filled up all of these closets surprisingly fast. I hope that you find this fun to watch these closets go from totally empty to completely full but man oh man we needed the storage. I hope that if you were inspired by this project that you share this video guys. I would love for me to inspire someone else to build and if I've inspired you in some way, don't forget to join the Welcome to the Woods group and share what DIYs you've made. Now I'm just styling it. I'm putting this um, really crawly plant on top. It's a pothos. And then this uh, little fur rug to make the bench a little more comfortable and a couple style pillows. To make the Ikea Brimis closets look a little more custom than just big box store builds, I got different poles for these and I got mine from Liberty Hardware. I think they're beautiful, very modern and minimalistic. So those are also linked in the description of this video if you're looking for something similar. Now that it's all done, it flows so nicely from our living room into our large foyer and the black and white style really speaks to the two rooms as a whole. I love it when people enter our home that they open the door and they can just see clearly a lot of space for them to put their, you know, coats and boots and whatever else they need to stow away while they're visiting. It has made this room so much more useful and functional. I also love the big jute rug that I have laid in front of our um, entryway storage because it really absorbs dirt and it prevents that from getting tracked throughout our whole house. My kids love to use their drawers. They can access all of their boots and everything and get themselves ready. It's so great. And then all the bins in that closet, it actually makes it easy to get out the door. Let me know in the comments below if your house has enough entryway storage and what your current situation is. Do you have a coat closet? Do you have like armoires like I put in here? Do you have hook racks? What do you use? If you need a little help in that area, I hope that today I've inspired you. Look next week for my full entryway makeover reveal. We'll see you then on Welcome to the Woods.